Now, let's look at all these other these uh, spec types that are in here. These are the actual conversion characters. A D or an I is a decimal integer. So you would, you're would you going to print out whatever that value is on the right-hand side of the, uh, the printf. It's going to be printed in a decimal form with either D or I. If you use O, percent O, or percent and the dash and the digits O, it will be printed as an octal value, represented as an octal value. X and capital X will print a value in hexadecimal, uh, base 16. A lowercase x will cause the letters of the hexadecimal value to be in lowercase. A capital X will cause them to come out uh, uppercase. A U is used for an unsigned decimal. A C is for a single character. S is for string. We've already seen that. F is for float. Uh, we looked at that in the previous one. If you use an E or an uppercase E, that will give you exponential notation with the E plus and the the uh, power to, to uh, raise a number. You can print very small numbers or very large numbers in less space with exponential notation. Lowercase g or uppercase g is to print exponential notation of a double value, which would be a very large and highly precise value, as we saw when we, when we looked at our types, our variable types earlier. A p, that is for a pointer, and that will print out a pointer value, you have to pass an, an address, is what it expects to see, is an address or, or the address of a pointer. And that will be implementation dependent. It depends on your compiler, your operating system, your memory type, model, all of that is, is what that pointer actually looks like. But that's a good way of uh, converting uh, addresses, so it's something you can you can read. And then we have the double percent, which it, when used in a printf will just give you a percent sign. So you have to use two percents together if you want to actually print the uh, the character percent in the printf. So that's what goes into the format string, which is the first variable, the first thing that is passed into printf. And then it takes a, a unknown variable number of arguments after that format string, and that varies based on what's in the format string. And that's one of our next videos coming up, is how to create your own function that can use a variable length argument list like that. So that's printf, and I want you to see those conversion characters and how to use them, and uh, we will use them quite a bit in the next chapter when we get there and we talk about web programming. We'll use a lot of printf, and we'll use scanf, which is, which is coming up here in a minute. So hang on.